Hello everyone. Now we are back here. Today we learned how to uh, tween on a motion guide and uh, so I'm going to create a video for you to be able to practice that at home. So we're going to go back to Flash and earlier our first assignment was to tween this ball having it go from left to right. What we're going to do now is instead of having this boring ball just go from left to right, we're going to have it actually maybe make a circle or an oval or do a loop-de-loop -loop or something a little more exciting. So to do that, we're going to learn to create a motion guide. So let's go ahead and create a new document, file new. And again, we talked about it before, we're working with ActionScript 2.0, 3.0 is for later. And we have our stage, our timeline. Over here on the right we have our library and properties and what we're going to do and of course our toolbar let's not forget about that what we're going to do is we're going to basically recreate the tween assignment we did last time so we started out by inserting a new symbol and over here I called it red ball it could be called anything I'm just calling it red ball so that I'll remember and uh, we're going to have it be a graphic and say okay Again, notice that we're inside red ball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this oval tool and I'm going to hold shift, create a circle, and you'll notice again my stroke is blank or clear and my fill is red. I try to stick close to this little anchor in the center and once I'm done I'm going to go back to scene one and I'm going to go to my library up here and drag the red ball right over to the stage. There we go. There's my red ball. Right now I'm on frame one and all the other frames are empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. But before I do that, let's, re let's give this one a name. It's a good habit to name your layers. Uh, we'll call it ball, tween, or whatever. Um, it's a good idea to name your layers because later on when we're working with a whole bunch of layers, uh, it'll, it's very easy to confuse which layer is which, so give them appropriate names to help you remember what does what. We're going to go ahead and right click on our layer, which has this ball on it, and we're going to go to Add Classic Motion Guide. Remember not to click Guide, that's for something else. We're going to click uh, Classic Motion Guide. Once you've done that, you'll notice right away, let's zoom in so you can get a good look at it, you'll see right here that it added a new layer. Now this is a special layer, it's called a guide layer. And you'll notice that it has a special picture next to it. It has this picture of this kind of path going up in a loop like that, or an uh, arch. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start on this guide layer. And let's zoom back out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a guide or a path for the ball to follow. You can use several tools to do this, and you know, with everything I'm teaching you, there's several different ways that you can do it. But uh, we're going to follow the, one of the easiest ways. Is I'm just going to go over here to the pencil tool, and I'm going to start the path right near my ball. It doesn't have to, but it's easier. I'm just going to start near my ball and create a path for this to follow. Now I didn't show you, but uh, my pencil path was black. It doesn't have to be black, but uh, it's easier to follow it if it is. So. Um, either way, just draw a path for the ball to follow. So I did this little loopy thing here. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, some new frames. I have to insert a frame for my guide layer. To do that, I go over here to frame 60. We're going to make it about two seconds long. Remember, our frame rate is 24 frames per second. I'm going to right click here. And now, before we created a keyframe, this time I'm just going to create a regular frame, insert frame, for my guide. The reason it's a regular frame is because this guide is just going to stay here. It's not going to move, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to stay there and be there for my ball to follow. I'm going to go down here for my ball, and I'm going to right click at frame 60 again. But this time I'm going to insert a keyframe. The ball needs a keyframe because at the end of the animation it's going to actually move. It's be, going to be animating. So that's going to have a keyframe. The next thing is I'm going to use my selection tool. This is the black one here. And I'm going to move the ball at frame 60 to the end of the path. Now please note that when you're doing this, Flash sometimes has a hard time figuring out where the path is. 
so you may be playing around with the step several times to get it right. Now I'm going to go back over here to frame 1. Again, you can do it anywhere along this frame 1 until just before that keyframe. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click Create Classic Tween. Now if everything worked out right, if the ball is anchored to the first part of the path and again at the second part of the path at the end, if I press enter, it should follow the path for the end. I also want you to note if I go over here to control and test movie, control enter is the shortcut, you'll notice that the path disappears and the ball just follows the path but it's invisible. That's how it's going to look when people look at it. On the stage, however, you can still see the path. If you want to get rid of it on your stage without deleting it, you can just click the eyeball here and it will disappear. And if I just run my movie again by pushing enter, it follows the path. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create a motion path. Now remember what I said. When you're working with it, the first couple of times there's a chance where it may not stick to this path. So you may have to play around with it. I, you can't tell, but as I'm doing this, I can, it actually kind of magnetically sticks to the path. That means it's on it. That's good. And I'm going to do the same thing here. It kind of snaps right to that path if you got it. Don't be disheartened. If it doesn't work the first time, just play around with it and you'll get the hang of it. Uh, good luck. Have fun. And as always, you can email me with questions.